welcome. Thanks for joining in. Look Thank like you almost literally. For having- <laughs> Yes, from the sky. Heaven. Yes. How uh, how have you been uh, with with everything that's been going on with the quarantine? How have you been staying sane? I mean, I'm never completely sane all the time. It's I mean, one of those. Is, <laughs> who is? If they right? say they are. They're definitely insane. So <laughs> I know you can't trust those people. <laughs> um, yeah, I uh, I've I've been keeping myself busy. I got some projects going on. You know, one of the things in being a journalist, I I already was a lot of time working from home, having a home office. So I honestly think. I'm not going to say I got busier as the the quarantine and everything and the protests and things happened, but things have definitely been very much constantly having to keep on everything. So um, actually today I was kind of taking a personal day because, Mm -hmm. you know, that's a big thing too. Like there's a lot, there's so much information that just comes out every single day. Right. But yeah, I've just been keeping busy. I got my three cats. Oh. Um, I'm a cat lady <laughs> in that regard. Uh, they keep me busy. What's and, the maximum uh, number of cats that you can have before you become crazy cat lady? There is no maximum. <laughs> There's no, that is a crazy cat lady response. So yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you said that you're a journalist. You work for uh, People's World. You, you're you're the yeah. chief editor there. Is that correct? Yeah, I'm one of the main three editors uh, okay. of uh, this publication, People's World. It's been around for actually 98 years. 98 um, years. It's uh, yeah, it came out Two in the early 1920s, right? <laughs> um, came out in the early 1920s. It was started by a group of like um, socialists, labor union people, communists. I know that's a bad word sometimes, mm-hmm. but yeah, whatever. The words turn yes, bad I and know. Words Red turn baiting. good. It's like, <laughs> exactly. You... Yeah. Uh, yeah. A good amount of great people that just, it's really one of the models that we have is that we do take sides and we say it's yours in terms of working people uh, mm-hmm. because you have a lot of like corporate press uh, that we see that sensationalizes a lot of stuff. And one of the things we do with our writing, with our analysis is to uh, take it in a, in a way of saying, what do you get out of this as a reader? What do you need to know? Whether it's about the stimulus checks, whether it's about what one administration is saying versus what's actually happening, things like that. So, yeah, I've been working with the people's world for probably going on four years now. Wow. Yeah, I just I grew with them. Like I, can't, I started out as a part time social media manager and then kind of just you know started writing a lot more and i also do a lot of movie film and tv reviews with them along with being an editor Mm. um i started i kind of write plays i write scripts i do a lot of various things i think and all of that leads back to my love for storytelling and so that's within any medium with with news journalism it's you know the idea of nonfiction because there is a story in every thing that we do no story that's made in a film or television exists in the vacuum you know it's not void of politics it's not void of messaging Mm -hmm. so if something's coming out during a time where it might seem like why are they trying to push this now i'm gonna comment on that i get in constant arguments with film bros and so (laughs) and i like the term film bros i like yeah (laughs) there's a lot of them um and so and i think sometimes the issue they have with some of my thoughts is that I don't let it exist in a vacuum because why should I give it that space? Aside from just keeping sane in general, there's obviously a lot going on in the world. And what are, what are your thoughts? And this is an extremely loaded question, but what are your thoughts <laughs> with just everything that's been going on with the Black Lives Matter movement? And how has that affected just reading things in quarantine all day? That's all you can do. This is a very transformative time for uh, the United States, uh, because this is a nation built off of enslaved labor. I mean, Mm -hmm. that's just real talk. And I'm Mm -hmm. not, that's not me being like, just feeling it. Like you read a book. Right, right. (laughs) Right, This is enslaved labor. And I think, you know, I've written like essays and things about like the question of reparations, the question of what does uh, a community that has like, you know, looks at the way the police are functioning, capitalism when it comes to uh, Black people and and super exploitation. And I think what's so great about these uprisings, these protests, is that we're getting more specific now. You know, I think everything's connected. I don't think anything in history is disjointed. It all builds up on something, whether people learn from it or not. And like, just like in 2014 or so, we had the Ferguson um, protests and mm-hmm. uprisings that were uh, for Mike Brown, where Ferguson wasn't like engulfed in this thing of Black Lives Matter, you know, of mm-hmm. the, of what happened to Mike Brown being shot in the back, things like that, and others like Trayvon Martin with Zimmerman and other things. And during that time, it was uprisings and people were out in the streets and they kind of had specifics, but they weren't 
being able to hit the mainstream. Mm -hmm. And I think what you have now is things that were kind of, I don't even call it fringe, things that the mainstream corporate press wasn't given, giving as much attention to, such as the question of what it means to abolish the police, what it means to defund mm -hmm. the police, what it means to, to really do something beyond necessarily just reform of the police, put them with body cameras, but then all we're getting is just more videos of them killing people, right, you know, right. things like that. I guess I would ask you, um, what have, what has been your opinion and does this, does it, even matter but what's your opinion on like certain politicians that have kind of like changed a little bit at least appearing unless there's been new information that have, has come out since this interview but uh th things like uh, Mitt Romney at the protests and George W Bush like not uh backing Trump in his campaign I mean do you think that this is a step in the right direction. It's something. I feel like one if they feel compelled to actually make a display of it to break with their ranks of Sometimes the GOP is on this whole we're unity and we're not going to say anything negative, even if we constantly disagree, because strategically we want to win. Mm -hmm. um, and I think what you're seeing is fragments, right? Mm -hmm. We saw the fragments when there was a cluster of Republicans who were putting out advertisements against Trump. You know, mm -hmm. like, I mean, those are these are big shifts that are happening with, you know, Romney and, and George. I mean, George W. already said a few things against him before, but to really come out and say, I'm really not supporting this person. Right. Right, right. It is the big step. Mm -hmm. I would never, I you never see me praise George George Bush <laughs> just because of things <laughs> yeah. that have happened. I I won't. I just can't do that. Right, not, right. But I think this particular thing, given strategically what it can do to people who still see him as someone to people on that side who might be on the line about voting for Trump, seeing this means something. So right. it's good for it's good for our side of people who want some progress. People, if they're not out protesting, you're. You know, people are usually at home, at least I, I have been at home just kind of debating with, uh, which seems like the worst kind of people on the Internet. Um, oh, my gosh. Yes. And <laughs> it's uh, I, I've been having a lot of frustration with how to handle it, because sometimes you really get into it and you realize you're just hitting a brick wall with these people. And so sometimes when you see a comment, you you feel kind of compelled to just keep scrolling. But at the same time, you feel kind of compelled to like, yeah, but if I keep scrolling, I'm letting that go. And I think, I mean, you got to see where you're at that day, right? Like some days I have a short fuse, mm -hmm. a shorter fuse than others, right? And that's also a thing of mental health too. It's like, I mean, you can get on with a whole bunch of trolls and Lord knows I, I have them sometimes mm -hmm. when yeah. they come at me, depending on what they see that I wrote or something like that. Um, and I, I do say though, those people might not budge cause they probably want to antagonize, mm -hmm. but I think I tend to think about the people who are watching the conversation mm -hmm. and there are plenty of, I've had times when I've had a debate with someone where someone who didn't have the courage or, you know, just didn't want to get into it, didn't right. want to reply to that person, but then they message me in private and they say, thank you for saying that you actually made some good points. I think I'll take that those good points. So I can say that to somebody else because, right. you know, I didn't jump in, but I saw what you did and it was good to see. So, uh, here, here's a little, a little fun, little fun question. Um, <laughs> so if 2020, I mean, we're, we're only halfway through, oh my God, if 2020 were a movie or a television show as from a writer's perspective, how would you, how, how would this end? How, how would this end for the series? I feel like the only way is the virus goes away, but then like off in the distance, as we all are saying, we can get back to our lives. There's like the murder hornets kind of like <laughs> buzzing in right. the background with like ominous music. Uh -huh. And then like somewhere else we hear like those chimps that escaped from the lab a couple of weeks uh -huh. ago with the uh -huh. actual virus, like holding a needle. <laughs> so do, do, uh, do the animals that are infected with the virus are they the ones that storm the White House and take over Trump? And so you kind of like, it is the virus that killed Trump in the end. And it's the people who are left. Yeah. If you want to like do some like rosebud sort of like, <laughs> come around. you know, it's like, it's like poetry. It rhymes. Yeah. Do you, uh, what do you have going on? Yeah, well, there's a few things. Um, like you were saying, I um, I have my YouTube, uh, the Twisted Woman CKR, where I do a uh, horror movie and dark fantasy uh, reviews and shows. Um, the new project that I launched uh, about a week or so ago is finalgirlsurvival.com, mm -hmm. which is kind of just taking my inspiration of the final girls of horror movies, the final girls of life, you know, mm -hmm. just women who have basically had some 
everyday monsters come at them and somehow, you know, go beyond those obstacles where it's kind of a lifestyle blog that's more on the survivalist tip, prepping, okay. things like that. Not necessarily a doomsdayer type uh -huh. of deal, but more so, you know, with the inspiration of Final Girl saying you you can be secure in an insecure world. So it's it's if people want tips of like life hacks, survivalist kind of prepping, things like that. And, you, you know, you're a working woman. Um, or, you know, a working woman who's just like on her hustle, but doesn't want to be derailed by like danger in that mm -hmm. sense or unpreparedness. Um, yeah, this uh, website's for you. Uh, well, thank you so much for being a part <laughs> of this, uh, this interview and, um, you know, stay safe out there. It's still, still quarantine season and, uh, hopefully yeah. I don't know when that season, <laughs> I don't know when the, when the groundhog just tells us that the season of Corona's over, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where that groundhog's been. <laughs> but yeah, uh, thank you for uh, stopping by and uh, stay safe. Right? Thank you. Bye.